Minister. Uh, Not the time, love. I'm busy. Fuck off. Simon, I've got a Sunday. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell, Malcolm. Hey, you're supposed to shut yourself in there, not here. Come on, Malcolm. He asked me for a, for, for a personal opinion. But why didn't you say? I mean, he asked you, fuck. Of course, that explains it. Yeah. See if he'd asked you to fucking black up or to give him your PIN number or to, to shut yourself. Would you have done that as well? I would have blacked up because yeah. it was radio. Nobody would have known. See that? Fucking play with that, right? Never mind your fucking toys. Play with that. Doesn't matter about the speech. That's fine, Malcolm. Yeah, it doesn't fucking matter. Women, huh? Women, slam the door. Where did this idea come from, huh? Well, ma! Fuck off. I'm making a phone call. Make a phone call. Phone a fucking friend. Where do you think you are? In some fucking Regency costume drama? This is a government department, not a fucking Jane fucking Austen novel. Now, I understand that your Prime Minister has asked you to supply us with some, let's say, fresh British intelligence. Is that true? Yeah, apparently you're a fucking yeah. master race of highly gifted toddlers can't quite get All the job right. done. All right. Between breastfeeds and playing with their power All rangers. Right. So an actual grown-up has been asked to fucking bail you out. Kraken awakes. I'm under a lot of pressure right now. I'm trying to plug a lot of leaks out there. I had my finger in the dike, but the dike's very, very squirty. Jesus Christ. Oh, but that'll probably confuse you as well, won't it? That'll be too confusing. You'll see it the cross and go, oh, fuck, X marks the spot. Better tell this little person all about the Prime Minister's fucking catastrophic erectile dysfunction. I don't need to keep my head down, because unlike yourself, I don't give blowjobs to truckers. Allow me to pop a jaunty little bonnet on your purview and ram out of the shitter with a lubricated horse cock. Fucking hang up, haven't you? Fucking hoity toity hey, buddy, fucking. Hey, nothing with curse words, all right? Kiss my sweaty balls, you fat fuck. I won't scare you, okay? I'll just explain to you what I'm gonna fucking do to you. I'm gonna take your bollocks, I'm gonna fucking rip them off, I'm gonna fucking put eyeballs on them. And I'm gonna stitch them onto a fucking sock and use that as our mouthpiece. Go and stand in that fucking corner. Stand over there, right? And do not move, or I will perform a fucking. Living fucking autopsy on you with a fucking rusty speed and I'll have your kidneys for fucking cufflinks. You're also fucking mental. Jesus Christ, see you, you're a fucking omni shambles, that's what you are. You're like that coffee machine, you know, from bean to cup, you fuck up. Stand up. I'm telling you to fucking stand up, you sack of fucking cum. Stand the fuck up. No, Malcolm. The best way to cure a paper jam? I don't know. Kill a kid an hour until it sorts itself out. Fetus boy, lesson one. I tell you to fuck off, what do you do? Uh, F off? You'll go far. Well, fuck off. You cannot fuck me. I'm... You cannot fuck me. I am unfuckable. Oh. I have never been fucked. Oh. And if you fucking try and fuck me, you'll find my fucking ass will fucking grow yeah, fucking right. fangs now come and, and fucking to me. slap your will fucking you cock off. Will you listen to me? Welcome, Tucker, will you listen? Um, can I get a coffee? Uh, sure, sure. If we just get started, my assistant should be bringing in coffee shortly. Your assistant? Yeah. So, uh, item. Uh, we need to have a conversation about the mood of the British Parliament, the bumps in the road ahead and whatnot. I'm sorry, I don't... This uh, situation here is... Is this it? No offence, son, but... I mean, you look like you should still be at school with your head down a fucking toilet. Uh, your first point there, the offence, I'm afraid I'm going to have to take it. Your second point, I'm 22, but, uh, item, it's my birthday in nine days, so... To make you feel more comfortable, we could wait. Don't get sarcastic with me, son. We burnt this tight ass city to the ground in 1814, and I'm all for doing it again. Starting with you, you frat fuck. You get sarcastic with me again, and I will stuff so much cotton wool down your fucking throat, it'll come out your ass like the wee tail on a Playboy bunny. I thought I was led to believe I was attending the war committee. Yes, Assistant Secretary of State Linton Barrick asked me to brief you on the work of the future planning committee. I'm away. Oh, and here we are. The fucking vice president has also graced us with his presence. Give him a bottle of milk.